Today's game changer in agriculture is Weavercroft International, a company out of Dorchester, Ontario, who is selling Canadian cattle genetics to the world. In this case, the specific one I know about is Russia. But more importantly, we don't sell just the genetics. Remember, that's embedded knowledge for the last 30 years of great record keeping, great selection here in Canada. But we sell the whole package. We work with other companies from Canada so that when those cattle arrive, we're looking at how do we feed them, how do we maintain them, and we provide solutions for a, co a country rather than just we sell cattle. And that's because of the knowledge base of companies like Weavercroft. Over the years, like any other business, you faced many hurdles, and the biggest one we always had in Canada was the cost of the freight with the fuel charges. And our dollar played a big role, um, same as any export company from Canada, to where we did business and how we did business. But the biggest crisis that we faced was the BSC issue 10 years ago. And this completely shut us down, and we, were, um, we could not sell an animal for approximately uh, five years, six years. Um, so our business, we lost a lot of our markets, and to this day, we do not have access to all the markets around the world that we did before the BSC set in. One of the first countries we sold to after the BSC issue was resolved was uh, Cuba, and I did have the opportunity to meet Fidel Castro on one of my trips to Cuba, and um, we sold cattle there, and then we realized that the Eastern Europe market was uh, one that would be a big player in the future. Um, a major project over there that we got involved in was in Croatia. And uh, there was a farm that started out and they built a brand new facility and they put all Canadian cattle in the facility and we were the sole supplier. And we put 1,000 animals into the farm over uh, two and a half years. Um, this was probably the first time we got into offering a full service other than selling the cattle and we put in, um, we sent our veterinary and farmers feed nutritionists to their farm to help work with them and we brought their farm managers to Canada to train them. Uh, the project was very successful and we realized then to be competitive around the world we had to offer the full package of training with uh, farm management, feed nutrition, uh, the traceability, registration of animals, uh, feedlot management and this has been um, the, our goal and this is what we're working on now. The last few years, Russia has been our major and maybe our, our best market. Um, it took two years to visit Russia, to meet the people, to get the contacts, to get so they had to trust in you and we could supply the cattle. We've been working with the Ontario Agra Food Technology Program with a rapid response and Dr. Gord Sergeant has been a great help to us, giving us support so we can travel to Russia, meet potential clients, and open up these markets. And these are our best markets at the time. I've been to three or four trade shows in Russia. Um, you meet a wide assortment of people there and it's a very necessary part. And that is where the, the program from the rapid response comes in. It helps us to be able to attend these shows to meet our potential customers. Right now, Russia is probably, I'd say 95% of our business. And uh, we are talking to other countries in Eastern Europe and there's quite a bit of interest in that area and we're leaving every market open. When we were visiting the farmers in Russia, um, they had a dairy set up, they also had a beef set up. And we have very good contacts in Western Canada. We work with um, suppliers in Alberta and they end through Ontario, but uh, for the large orders, we work out of Alberta supplying the Hereford or Angus cattle that our customer requires. We were one of the founding members of the Canadian Livestock Genetic Association, uh, CLGA, uh, and we still are a member. Um, I was president, I've been a past president, I've been on the board. Uh, the association is a non-profit organization which represents the, the, the genetic people in Canada, whether it's semen, live animals, or embryos. And they help us uh, negotiate charts with CFIA to new countries. They follow up on problems to keep us informed of any uh, trade barriers or issues that we'll have. And it's a very, very important part of our, uh, of our business. We're in Dorchester, Ontario right now. We have premises within 10, 15 miles of here that we have small barns that we can use for smaller quarantines, mid-size. And then obviously we have, we can hold up to, we have a barn there that we could actually hold up to 600 head in one spot. 
Now the cattle will come in from all, all different areas, from where, as wherever we are purchase them, say Ontario, Quebec, they're trucked to the farm to which we hold the quarantine. In the beginning, the quarantine barn where we're going to process the cattle or keep the cattle during the uh, during the quarantine period, CFIA, our government vets, will come out, inspect the premises, make sure everything is clean and every and qualifies for the. Uh, for the country of Russia. That the, so now, now that they're in quarantine and stuff, if you look at a Russian health chart, you're going to see that there's uh, tests that we have to do, blood tests for them. With the bulls, there's other tests we do for the bulls. So we'll sit down with CFIA. Prior to this, we'll set up a schedule, knowing the X number of days is a quarantine. Basically, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll figure out the shipping date. From the shipping date, we back it up to where the quarantine started. So in that time frame, you're going to see that there's tests to be done, there's, there's vaccinations to be done, so we just follow that. And then the final inspection is done with, the vet, with both our vet, CFIA, with the Russian vet present. Once that that's done, certain, sometimes we'll seal the barn, just make sure everything's good. The day before, so then that way all the paperwork's in order, now we're ready to ship the cattle. The morning that we go to the farm, now our trucks and trailers will come. They're, they have to be inspected by CFIA. They're washed, the trucks are washed inside and out, the trailers are washed, everything's disinfected. Once the cattle are on the trailers, then the, our Canadian vets will seal the trailers. We get to the airport, there'll be a government vet there for CFIA. Be prior to us to go, the Russian vet, that's the biggest job he's here for, he signs off on that health chart. As we're loading, you'll see that we use crates on planes, we put X number of animals in each crate, and he's obviously supervising that, making sure everything's good and, and everybody's healthy. The health is the easiest and we know what we want. And, that, and like you said, if you ship healthy cattle, you're, you're, everybody's happy. Our biggest problems right now are um, access to, all, to markets around the world, fuel costs. Uh, fuel costs dictate what we have to charge to put the cattle overseas. And we, it's, um, we're competing against uh, Europeans, we're competing against uh, large boatloads out of uh, uh, Australia, and our prices are higher, so we have to offer a stronger product or a full service to, to convince the buyer to buy Canadian.